Hey everybody, what's going on? Ed here, bringing you another game. Today, I am very excited to bring you Dungeon Quest, the revised edition. Um, with my growing excitement for Dungeon Crusade coming out this year, um, I know that uh, Roger, the guy working on Dungeon Crusade, his, his game, uh, this game was one of uh, the influences for that game. So I thought I would bust out some Dungeon Quest and play it for you all. So first thing I'm going to do is randomly select. I'm going to play as four heroes. I'm going to randomly select the four now. So just by rolling a die. So we'll start with one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I guess I probably need, well, I'll just roll it right here. So we got five. So we've got uh, uh, Talara and the Bright Blaze will be our first hero. Uh, we'll do the same thing. Six. We got Tatiana. All right. One, two, three, four. We've got Krutzbeck, the dwarf. It's like a dwarf. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Hugo the Glorious. So these other guys will go back to the box. And give me one sec and I'll set all this up. Okay, hero cards. I'm going to go ahead and randomly deal out their runes now. So Hugo the Glorious gets... Rune of Luck. Uh, discard after you fail an attribute test. The test automatically succeeds. Then discard all of your determination uh, Then discard all of your determination tokens. All right. Krutzbeck gets the Rune of Insight. Discard at the end of your action phase to discard all search tokens in your space and all adjacent to your space. Tatiana gets the Rune of Transformation. Discard after you draw a dungeon chamber to draw a second dungeon chamber. Shuffle one chamber back into the stack. Place the other on the board as normal. And then finally, Talara gets a Life Drain Rune. Discard after defeating a monster in combat. Heal all of your wounds. Okay, so those are the runes. First player, um, I will just roll one, two, three, four, five. So I will do uh, one through four. Okay, okay, all right. One Tatiana will be the first player. Okay, we got our dice rolly tray up there. Now I haven't played this too much, so hopefully. I don't get too much or anything wrong. <laughs> um, I'm going to lay these guys out just like they are laid out here. So Hugo will start in this tower. Uh, Krutzbeck will start in this tower. Tatiana will start up here. And Talara will start here. Okay. Um, this is my bag of tiles. So it'll probably be... Um, kind of off camera. Um, so I can kind of stick it here so you guys can see it a little bit. It's the dice roller. So I'll put the bag here and I'll just reach in like that and pull out the tiles. Okay, I think we're ready to begin. Now, one thing I forget a lot in this game is determination tokens, and that you get one when you fail a test. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I won't forget, but I probably will. Um, oh, and then finally, when we do, uh, when I do monster battles, those will be over here on this screen, um, and, uh, we'll walk through that when we get there. All right, so I say we go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with Tatiana up in that corner. 
So she's going to go ahead and go right there and draw a tile. I can kind of see in the bag. Let's see if I can get that bag to stand up. There we go. All right. She pulls a catacombs entrance. Hmm. Tempting, tempting, tempting. All right, I'm going to go in this order like this. So, ba -doop, ba -doop. so we'll basically go around the board like this. That'll make it easy to remember clockwise. So we'll go with um, Chalara. Um, she will go that way. Oh, duh. I'm already forgetting stuff. So, so there. Hers, it's just a pull dungeon card. All right, duh. I was like, this is easy. All right, well, this dungeon card is for Tatiana. Uh, empty. This room is empty. Nothing happens. All right, now we'll go to to uh, Jalara. Is that the way? No, I moved this way. There we go. She pulls a dungeon card. Passage down. Place a catacomb entrance marker here. So she can also go into the catacombs. It'll go like that. And on to Crutzbeck. Um, he's feeling that direction. Dungeon card. Hidden trap. Draw a trap card. Explosion. Suffer four wounds and lose your next turn. Ow. So Crutzbeck will take... Four wounds. And he will lose a turn, so we'll lay him down. On to Hugo the Glorious. Nice straight, straight shot there. You go, oops, the search card got mixed in with my dungeon cards. Dead adventurer, you may loot the body for treasure. If so, draw one corpse card. So let's see. Hugo. Yeah, I think so. Rope. When you resolve a trapdoor or hole in the roof card or bottomless pit chamber, you may discard this card to automatically succeed. Nice. So Hugo found himself some rope. All right. That brings us back up to Tatiana. The sun's going to move on her turn. Um, what does she want to do? You know what? I think she's going to enter the catacombs. So I'm going to point her... that way put her marker back there and I believe that's the end of her turn yeah so she has entered the catacombs um, so Lara's gonna take it a little bit safer she's uh, she's not gonna enter the catacombs um, she's not gonna search either she's just gonna try to get to that center as quick as possible she's not messing around Dungeon deck. An ambush. She encounters a monster. All right. So, Talara the Bright Blaze. Let's see. Does she have any special abilities? When you draw a dungeon card, you may discard it and draw another dungeon card as a replacement. You must resolve this new dungeon card. 
Um, I think she's going to go ahead and do that. She doesn't want the ambush, so she's going to ignore that one and draw another card. And it's a hidden trap. Poisonous gas. Roll one die, subtract three from the result. Alright, so that would be like zero. Suffer that many wounds. Then roll one die, subtract three from the result, and lose that many turns. Three, so she's going to lose one turn. That wasn't so bad. Better than the monster, I think. Um, so yeah, let me just read these guys' special abilities real quick. So, Tatiana, when searching, you may discard one determination token from your hero sheet instead of placing a search token on the chamber tile. I already heard Chalara. She can also, if she has eight or more wounds, your combat cards never deal more than one wound to the monster per attack. Ouch. So yeah, she definitely doesn't want to fight. Um, Hugo the Glorious, if your monster player... If you and the monster player choose the same type of combat card, the monster player suffers one wound and you suffer zero wounds, overriding the results listed on both combat cards. That's nice. Or uh, each time you defeat a monster in combat, draw one rune card, if any are available. And Kretz back. Um, he can't escape monsters. Each time you deal at least one wound to a monster, deal one additional wound. And each time you defeat a monster in combat, gain one determination token. So those are our heroes, and it's Crutzbeck's turn. He's just going to stand up, because he lost a turn. And we're back to Hugo the Glorious, who will... Um, he will search. So Hugo's going to do some searching. He's not as scared of any monsters. Search deck. Uh, ten gold coins. Nice. So Hugo gets himself some gold, and he's currently in the lead. One strategy would be to get out of the dungeon now, because everybody else might die. Because you can die pretty quick in this game. <laughs> so, back to Tatiana. Um, she's going to draw a Catacomb card. Um, greedy Deep Elf. A suspicious-looking Deep Elf beckons you near. You may discard any of your loot cards as a bribe. If you do, roll one die and multiply the result by 100. If this total is less than the gold value of the loot card you discarded, she shows you the way out and you may immediately exit the catacombs. If the total is higher, um, she betrays you and sudden attacks offer four wounds. Um, I'm not going to discard any of my loot cards as a bribe. So, it says you may discard any of your loot cards as a bribe. If you do, roll. Um, if the total is higher, she betrays you, and so um, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna uh, offer a bribe at all, so I don't have to roll. So I'm guessing that does not take in any effect. So there's her first catacombs card. I will move on to uh, Talara, who is currently sleeping. She wakes up on the Crutzbeck. Um, he's going to continue forward. Right there. Draw a dungeon card. Ambush! Alright, so Crutch Beck is ambushed. Let's remember what his deals are. Whenever I deal at least one wound, I deal an additional wound. Um, and you get the determination token if he defeats a monster. So, let's scoot on over to here. And we've got Crutzbeck going against a Golem. Alright, so I'm going to pick my card first. Um... He's a dwarf, so he's going to go with a melee attack. And then I'm going to roll um, a three-sided die for one, two, three on these guys. Um, and actually, real quick, let me, let me add something in here. Okay, so what I did is I numbered those cards. So uh, whatever I roll on the three-sided die will determine what uh, the monster will be attacking with. Uh, this is one way to play a solo um, and doing the attacks. 
So I'm going to roll for the monster. We got a two. So it's a melee against melee. So we do two wounds to each other, and then the hero does an additional wound. So that'll be three wounds on the golem. He has a health of four. And then uh, Crutchbeck will take two wounds as well. So he'll be at six already. And then we'll keep going. So I'm going to draw again. Um, he's going to try a ranged attack this time. And monster attacks with a one, a magic. So a monster cards magic. Um, I take one wound, and let's do it again. Uh, he's tired of messing around. He's going to go back with uh, melee. Three. So he did a ranged. So again, I suffer one wound. This isn't going too well for uh, Krutzbeck. Um, I'm going to stick with melee this time. No! Take another wound. He is up to nine damage already. Uh, I'm going to stick with it one more time. A one. So. Um, I deal one wound, and I don't suffer any. So that will. Oh, actually. Give two. In either case, the golem is dead. And Crispin gets a determination token. Let's switch back over to here. So he gets a determination token, and he's currently at uh, nine, nine damage. Okay. Well. Mm hmm. On to uh, Hugo. He's going to go ahead and move this way. Uh, he gets a corridor that goes nowhere. So. He gets to move again. Um, he's just going to move back here. And it's Tatiana's turn. He's in the catacombs. So she'll draw a catacombs card. Hole in the roof. Test agility. If you succeed, you may exit the catacombs. If you fail, end your turn. Um, I don't know that she wants to exit yet. She's going to go ahead and stay in. For now. So on to Chalera. Or is it Calera? Chalara. I'm going to go with Chalara and Bright Blaze. Uh, oh, what's she going to do? Um, she's going to go ahead and come this way. She got the bridge. All right, so she's got no loot. Um, so she tests agility, I believe. So look at our back of our manual here. Bridge, upon entering this chamber, either end your turn or immediately move again by attempting to cross the bridge. To cross the bridge, test agility. Add one to your dice roll for each loot card you have. You may discard any number of your loot cards before you test agility. If you succeed, exit the chamber normally. If you fail, you fall off the bridge. Roll one die and suffer a number of wounds equal to the result. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to cross the bridge. I do it on the same turn. Yeah. All right, so her agility is uh, seven. So here we go. So she needs a seven 
The way tests work in this is you roll two dice based on their attributes, and you need to roll that number or lower. So she needs to roll a seven or lower. And she rolled an eight. So she failed. So she falls. Um, if you fail, fall off the bridge, roll one die and suffer that many wounds. So one wound. And then enter the catacombs. So she is now in the catacombs. Um, she's going to go ahead and point that way. All right. I think if I do a playthrough of this again, I'm going to do like scanned versions of these um, instead of the cards. Just, they come out a little bit clearer on the screen for you guys to see. But anyways, we are having a good time. It is Crutzbeck's turn, and he's going to jump this way. Uh, and it's the rotating room. Let me read this one real quick so I can remind myself. Rotate the chamber 180 degrees and end your turn. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Back to Hugo. Um, Hugo's actually just going to move right here. Not making a whole lot of progress there, Hugo buddy. Um, he may pop out over here and consider going that route. We'll see what happens. Um, Tatiana's turn. She will draw catacombs. Hidden trap. Draw a trap card. Poisonous snakes. Roll one die and suffer a number of wounds equal to that result. Three wounds. All right. Um, let's see. Chalara is in the catacombs. Kalara. Chalara. Oops. That's not a catacombs card. Hidden trap. Draw a trap card. That's her first catacombs card. Trap card. Crossfire trap. Arrows fire from the walls. Test armor. All right. Her armor is a five. She got a six. Man, she's just missing. Oh, you know what? She failed that other test, so she should have gotten a determination token, um, which she will now use. You could use them to subtract one. Players acquire determination tokens for failing attribute tests. After a player rolls his dice during an attribute test, he may spend any number of his determination tokens by removing them from his hero sheet and returning them to the supply. Each determination token he spends subtracts one point from the total value of his dice rolls. Okay. So I thought, so I wanted to make sure. So he rolled a, she rolled a six. Um, she's going to spend her determination token to make that a five, and then she will pass. Um, and basically her armor protects her from that, those crossbows, those closed arrows. All right, so that was fortunate. And uh, we move on to Crutzbeck, a dwarf buddy. I'm going to continue on. Lingering Shade. Keep this card. While you have this card, roll two dice at the start of your status phase. On a two or three, you die. Four to twelve, take your turn as normal. Discard this card if you enter the catacombs or exit the, dr the dungeon. Mm. All right, so let's remember to do that. On to Hugo the Glorious. Um, he'll try going this way. Let's see what he comes up with. A dead end. All right then. Well, 
his choices are pretty much limited. Um, let's draw a dungeon card. Dead adventurer, you may loot the body for treasure. If you choose to, draw one corpse card. Um, sure. It's not having much luck anywhere else. 50 gold coins. Nice. Maybe he should just exit. He's at 60. Everybody else could die. And it's Tatiana's turn. Um, she's going to draw another catacombs card. Torch goes out. While you are in the catacombs, test luck at the start of your status phase. If you succeed, you relight your torch. Take your turn as normal. If you fail, you end your turn. Alright. So that's her fourth catacombs card. Um, we are on to Talara. She draws a catacombs card. It's empty. Room is empty. It's not bad. On to Krutzbeck. Um, he's going to continue forward this way. Uh oh. Krutzbeck, no like bridges. Um, what's his agility? A four. You know what? He's going to stop and not try to cross. Um, and then his next turn, he's going to go back. He doesn't want anything to do with that bridge. Um, Hugo is... Huh. He's actually going to move here. Let me check something. Okay. So based on what I read, I can move, if I move here, I can move again to any other chamber or any other tower. So he's actually going to, hmm, he's going to pop up up here. Yeah. See what he can do up there. Um, so it is Tatiana's turn and I'm going to take pause there and bring you the next part very soon. So yeah, awesome.